Hey everyone, welcome back. It seems like I'm doing a video every single day now, but there's some important news that came out not too long ago that I just wanted to share, and that's one of the cones has apparently stopped erupting and there's no more lava coming out. Now they're saying that a month's passed since the eruption of Fagelsfeld, and it seems now that the two northernmost craters in the area have actually stopped erupting. Now I'm gonna use this 3D model to navigate the whole area. I know some of you were wondering which way is pointed north, and if you are looking at the model, there's a little one here which indicates north in that direction. So let's take a look at the northernmost area and it's this here so they are saying now that based on all the photographs and the aerial surveillance that they took today this has stopped erupting and the lava is no longer coming out the lava is dried up now this northernmost crater opened on the second day of easter according to some of the facebook groups and nature conservation groups and so forth now it was really lively and a lot of lava came out over the couple days after it first opened up and started erupting and it has grown considerable in size if we navigate down now i'm just using my mouse buttons here to navigate around i know some of you are having issues with navigating this 3d space so the right mouse button does this pan motion and then the left mouse button is sort of this rotation. And then you can use your scroll wheel to navigate. But you can see here how large this cone is that's now stopped erupting. Now, last week, volcanologist Thorvaldur, Thor, <laughs> hopefully I can say this right, Thor Darsson said that this northernmost crater showed signs that the activity was decreasing significantly. And he predicted that this was part of the magma's adaption to the la landscape and that we would sh see a shift to the south because the northernmost crater is the highest in the landscape. Again, we were taking a look at that based on the actual geography of the land. This is very high up. So I guess good on, good on him for being able to take a look at the information he had and a week ago identify that there was going to be a change in this particular crater. So that's it. I wanted to just do a quick update on that. I thought it was pretty interesting. I don't really know what this means going forward. If the actual magma underneath and the lava is going to decrease over time. But I mean, all the news reports were saying that you can't estimate how long this eruption is going to last for and it, it's been over a month now and the average flow is what 5.6 meters cubed per second roughly or, or so and uh, so it's it's not possible to say how long it's going to go on I don't know if the lava coming out of this northernmost point changes that ability to make these predictions but uh yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see. Hopefully, for those of you that want to come, I know I keep saying this, but hopefully for those of you that want to come see this, at least a little bit of the eruption is going on for a little longer so that you have a chance to come take a look. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It, uh, yeah, it's amazing to me that it stopped. So thanks again.